We're going in with the Nervina Volume 3 palette for this tutorial. And we're going to use B4, B3, B1 over here, and then C5. For this look, I just want to show you guys what I'm using so I don't go back and forth. And you can see what I did on the other eye. Pretty simple. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of the Anastasia primer, eye primer, that's what I'm using for all the tutorials. I've never actually used this primer. This is actually the first time using it. To be honest, like it's very white and I totally get why they wanna do like a whiter eye primer because that will make the pigments stand out. But for me, I just kinda go in with a Primer or concealer that's really close to my skin tone. With B4 and an E28, I'm gonna start putting down that purple color. So you start with the outer corner and then you build in to the eye. Just like that. Now take an eyebrow brush with the same color. You're going to start mapping out the crease color with an R41 with the same purple shadow. You're going to start blending out that line with an e17 you're going to go in with b3 which is a pink shade and you're going to start putting this on the outer part of the purple now with a m433 you're going to start blending out the pink color just so there's no harsh lines At this point, what I would do is build up that purple color again, just on the crease and stuff. But this is kind of repetitive kind of stuff. I kind of go back and forth between the two colors, but that's what I would do. Just go back in with the purple, with the pink, purple, pink, until you get the perfect ratio of both. Now taking the eye primer, I'm gonna just cut my crease real quick. I'm gonna kind of skip through it, and then um, I'll show you the lid color and how I finish it up. Since I cut the crease there, boom, beautiful. We're gonna go on with B1, which is the blue shade. And I'm just gonna spray it with um, a setting spray. And just pat it on to that light color. I also tried these shadows like dry and are these pigment and honestly they perform the same. I just always wet my shimmery eyeshadows. Now we're going to go on with C5 which is the darker kind of color out here. I'm going to just sandwich it between the purple and that blue. To be completely honest with you, I kind of messed up. This side, I put like a lime green right here and it looks so bad, it wouldn't blend out. And I don't know, like I feel like I'm having trouble with that green. Just a very simple eye that actually took me less than 10 minutes to film because it's very simple. All right, so I'm all done with the eyes. I'm gonna put on my lashes, do my face, and I'll be right back to finish up the look with you guys, so. To finish up the look, I'm gonna go in with a, the purple shade which is B4 and I'm going to just throw that on the lower lash line first. Then we're going to go with B3 which is a pink. Then we're going to go to C1, which is this gold color for the inner corner. And the look is done. Let me just zoom you out. Alright, so here's the final look. Let's move on to look number two. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna get started. Um, I'm using the Anastasia Eye Primer again to prime the eyelids. Um, that's what I did on this eye and what I used for pretty much all of the cutting of the crease and all that. I'm still testing it out. I don't know how I feel like exactly about it. In part two, you'll get my final thoughts after I use it a couple times more after this look. We're using the Nervina Volume 3 palette again. Obviously, that's what this whole series is about. So I decided to go with the shades A1, A4, A5, D1, 
and then E1. With a E24, you're gonna go with A4 and start building that up in the crease. You just want to map out the shape of a cut crease with the lime green for, you know, all the rest of the color so you can just follow a pattern really throughout the look. After you built it up until the intensity that you liked it, we're going to go in with the next shade, which is A1, which is a limer green. Then this lime is like more of a yellow green. And we're going to take that on a Morphe M443 and we're going to start blending out the crease color with that color. To be completely honest with you, these these greens aren't my favorite greens. They actually are not the easiest to blend out. I'm not saying this palette is bad as like the Jaclyn Hill, like the mini palette she came out with, but they're they're a little difficult to blend. So I'm gonna quickly cut the crease off camera and I'll be right back uh, to do the lid color and everything like that. So I'll be back in just a little bit. After I cut the crease, it's nice and cut the same. I took my time on it. And you know, cut creases do take some time, so don't feel frustrated. If you can't uh, get them done or you feel like they don't come out correctly it takes time a lot of practice and time we're gonna go on to the lid space and I know you might be thinking you're gonna put a shimmer on there wrong we're gonna put on a five which is the spicy pumpkin-y fiery orange in the whole entire palette it's gonna take a moment but we're going to start putting this color right on onto the lid Right onto it, right on onto it. And this shade does have a lot of fallout, but that doesn't bother me. It may bother you. The orange um, is done. Everything is all good. It looks beautiful. So what I'm gonna do now is do a wing liner real quick off camera because that just takes me way too long and I need to be as spicy and big as this one over here. This is gonna take me a little bit. After I'm done with that, do the glitter, how I put the glitter on top and how I manage that because I actually put it on after I did my wing liner. So I'm gonna show you what I did. So I'll be right back in like a little bit, okay? So the wing is on and I got a little bit on the orange, but it's okay. We're gonna fix that right now. We're gonna get the NYX Glitter Primer. Start putting it all over the orange shade. I know this may look scary at first, but this is what you have to do. And I would do this in sections. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't put the glitter glue on or glitter primer on like everywhere. Just start with the inner part and then go to the outer parts. We're gonna go in with the shimmery shade, which is D5 with a MB19 brush. And you're just gonna kind of tilt your head upwards just so glitter doesn't fall, but the glitter is all gonna go here onto the lid. So I tried to use this shadow with no primer, no glitter glue, no nothing, and it was not working out. Like I tried to put it over the Anastasia primer and it wouldn't work out. So I'm assuming that this is more like kind of like a loose glitter and she did that that way, you know, so she can get different finishes on in a palette that's what i'm assuming but with this shadow i have to put on a glitter primer now you let that kind of dry on there a little bit and now what we're going to do is start on the darker green color that's going to go into my crease i'm going to start putting it really close into the green color and this is just a craft brush from like a craft store, you can do whatever you want. It's just a really good little brush to put on that extra green color. This brush is really good for colors that you wanna just really do detailed work with. And I wanna detail the work on this. And then you want to blend out the green color with the blending brush. I'm using the Flower Beauty one to do that. That's what I did earlier. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a full face, then we'll do the lower lash line, and we'll be done with this look. So I'll be right back in just a little bit. We're gonna just finish up this look real quick, because it's starting to get light out. 
like dark out in my neighborhood. We're gonna go in with that orange color that we used on the lid with an R41. Just a very simple lower lash line. I try to do the dark green, which is E1, under it. And to be honest with you, it doesn't look that great under there. You'll see right now, but I kind of want to do the same thing as I did on the other eye, just to balance everything out. Then I went in with A3, just to blend it out a little bit more. And then I go in with D2. I'm just wetting that D2 color just to give it a little bit of um, what's it called? a little zhuzh. And then this is the final look. Really spicy, really pretty. You guys enjoyed it. And there'll be a part two to this video showing you guys two more looks and giving you my final verdict on the products. I don't want to give a final verdict until I use this palette enough to be able to give a good review on it. So there'll be a part two going up on Friday and stay tuned for that because that will have all the final details in it. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.